Since its birth in the immense explosion known as the Big Bang, which occurred approximately 13.8 billion years ago, the universe has revealed a captivating narrative filled with grandeur and fascination. There's much we think we grasp, but so much more that leaves us in the dark. The Andromeda Galaxy played a pivotal role in reshaping our perspective by demonstrating that the cosmos and its creation extend far beyond our Earth-centered viewpoint. It highlighted the truth that the Milky Way isn't the only galaxy in existence, prompting us to recognize our potential insignificance in the vast expanse of the universe. And with the emergence of advanced tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, we now know more about Andromeda than ever before. Remarkably, the Andromeda Galaxy is not the entity we previously thought it was. Recent data acquired from the James Webb Telescope has sent shockwaves through the entire scientific community. Join us as we delve into the intricate details surrounding the nature of the Andromeda Galaxy and uncover the astonishing revelations it holds. Until roughly a century ago, the Milky Way Galaxy was perceived as a compact structure spanning only a few thousand light years across. It was widely believed to encompass the entirety of the universe, despite the discovery of other galaxies which were initially regarded as minor components within our own galaxy. The identification of the earliest galaxies dates back to the 17th century, attributed to French astronomer Charles Messier. Notably interested in comets, Messier encountered several fuzzy celestial objects that didn't correspond to comets. Fearing confusion among fellow comet observers, he compiled a list to prevent misidentification. This catalogue included details about 110 star clusters and spiral nebulae. It took nearly three centuries for astronomers to unravel the true nature of these enigmatic spiral nebulae. Debates arose regarding whether these nebulae were island universes similar to our Milky Way but separate, or if they were gas clouds within our own galaxy. The dispute continued until the 1920s, when American astronomer Edwin Hubble measured the distance to a spiral nebula. In 1923, Hubble conducted observations of the Andromeda Nebula now recognized as the Andromeda Galaxy, and identified one of the observed objects as a Cepheid variable star. Cepheids are stars whose brightness undergoes periodic fluctuations. Hubble harnessed the period luminosity PL, relationship established by astronomer Henrietta Leavitt to measure the distance to the Cepheid. By correlating a Cepheid's period of brightness variation with its actual brightness, Hubble calculated its distance and determined it was positioned beyond our Milky Way. This breakthrough conclusively settled the debate about the nature of spiral nebulae, confirming them to be distant galaxies akin to our Milky Way. The Andromeda Galaxy, with its estimated mass between 1 and 2 trillion times that of our Sun, stands as an immense celestial structure neighbouring us in the expanse of space. Despite its proximity, Andromeda's age of around 10.01 billion years signifies its ancient presence in the cosmos, suggesting a complex history of formation and development. A captivating aspect of Andromeda's origin involves the idea that it emerged from the amalgamation of multiple smaller proto-galaxies. This proposition indicates that over countless eons, these smaller galactic components gravitated together, gradually shaping the grandeur of the Andromeda Galaxy as we see it today. While such galactic mergers are common cosmic occurrences, their gradual progression makes them imperceptible until significant advancements occur. For a considerable period, astronomers believed Andromeda was substantially more massive than our own Milky Way galaxy. This perspective resulted from our position within the Milky Way, causing the size of Andromeda to appear overwhelmingly large when viewed from Earth. However, recent research has prompted a reconsideration of these notions. New insights have prompted scientists to revise their estimation of Andromeda's mass while increasing the mass attributed to the Milky Way. Consequently, the current understanding suggests that the masses of these two cosmic giants are much closer than previously assumed. Thus, if one were situated in Andromeda and observed Earth, the site would reveal a comparably massive galaxy. This realization serves to underscore the colossal nature of the Milky Way itself. The unanimous consensus among astronomers lies in the physical dimensions of the Andromeda galaxy. It extends even beyond our own Milky Way. 
with an impressive diameter spanning approximately 220,000 light years. Andromeda outshines the Milky Way's estimated diameter of roughly 100,000 to 175,000 light years. This vast expanse positions Andromeda as a truly substantial cosmic entity, asserting its dominance over a significant portion of space. This revised perspective also illuminates the intricacies and difficulties associated with accurately gauging the mass of galaxies. Galaxies are sprawling systems, and their mass intricately depends on the arrangement and movement of stars, gases, dust and dark matter within them. Achieving precise measurements necessitates sophisticated observational methods and meticulous analysis. This level of understanding could not have been attained during the 1700s or even the 1800s. It mandated the tools of the modern era. The Andromeda Galaxy boasts yet another fascinating attribute an abundance of global clusters. These clusters consist of tightly knit groups of stars that encircle the galaxy's center, much like satellites revolving around a planet. Andromeda is believed to house approximately 460 of these compact and ancient clusters, each encompassing hundreds of thousands to millions of stars that coalesced during the same era. This abundance implies that Andromeda has actively assimilated these diminutive galactic companions through a process known as galactic cannibalism. As these smaller galaxies enter Andromeda's gravitational sphere, powerful forces strip them of their stars and other components. The stars from these devoured galaxies merge into Andromeda's stellar population, enhancing the galaxy's stellar diversity. However, the current situation is even more captivating. Scientists propose that a momentous event is unfolding a collision course between the Milky Way galaxy and the Andromeda galaxy, culminating in their eventual fusion to give rise to an entirely new supergalaxy. This extraordinary phenomenon has garnered intriguing monikers like Milkometa or Milkdromeda, now recognized globally. While these playful nicknames bring a sense of amusement, the ramifications of this merger for humanity could be catastrophic. As these two galaxies draw nearer, their massive gravitational forces will distort their shapes through mutual influence. This gravitational interaction triggers tidal forces that tug stars, gases and dust across the expanse between the galaxies. The galaxies will gradually begin to overlap, inducing widespread chaos and disruption. However, this cosmic transformation won't transpire all at once. As the galaxies inch closer, their eventual collision sets the stage for the merging process. Stars, gas clouds and dust clouds from both galaxies will interact and intermingle. This intricate interplay can lead to the formation of novel star clusters and structures within the freshly unified galaxy. Throughout this merger, stars undergo dramatic shifts in their orbits, engendering a dynamic and tumultuous environment within the amalgamated galaxy. Some stars may even be expelled from the new galactic arrangement, while others assume new, more elliptical orbits. Both galaxies encompass supermassive black holes at their cores. As the collision unfolds, these black holes will eventually merge as well, birthing an even more colossal black hole in the nucleus of the newly combined galaxy. The merging process has the potential to trigger bursts of star formations as gas clouds collide and compress, giving rise to nascent stellar nurseries. These nurseries become the birth sites of young, massive stars that suit the character of the new galaxy. As the galaxies meld, the night sky becomes an extravagant cosmic spectacle. The collision and subsequent fusion will also yield breathtaking exhibitions of star clusters, shock waves and luminous bursts of radiation. The nighttime panorama undergoes a profound transformation, unveiling novel constellations and celestial arrangements. In simpler terms, the entirety of the sky undergoes a metamorphosis, becoming a rejuvenated canvas. However, amidst this grand cosmic ballet, the effects are not merely superficial. As the Andromeda galaxy converges with the Milky Way, the colossal cosmic forces and interactions among stars, gases and dust will incite profound alterations in Earth's environment. These changes could reverberate across the biosphere, the zones on Earth where life flourishes. Such disruptions could potentially lead to habitat disturbances, shifts in biodiversity and local extinctions. 
The merging of galaxies might induce disturbances within the solar system, influencing Earth's climate patterns and atmospheric conditions. Modifications in temperature, precipitation and weather phenomena could commence worldwide, shaping the distribution of flora and fauna habitats. While these developments are undeniably saddening, the truth remains that even though the galaxies are headed toward a collision, the entire process won't occur in the blink of an eye. This collision is anticipated to commence approximately 4 billion years in the future, and the comprehensive merging process will extend over another 2 billion years before reaching completion. As for our human species, we will have long ceased to exist by then, and our planet Earth will have undergone profound transformations long before the collision event begins. Predictions indicate that in about 5 billion years, our Sun will evolve into a red giant star, expanding and engulfing the inner planets, Earth included. This transformation is likely to render our solar system uninhabitable well before the amalgamation of the two galaxies transpires. Should any descendants of our species or other life forms exist some 4 to 6 billion years from now, they would be incredibly distant from our current evolutionary state, far removed from present-day humans. The merger itself gives rise to queries about the destiny of our solar system within the new supergalaxy. There exists a possibility that our solar system might be expelled into the intergalactic void during the collision. However, the precise outcome and configuration of the forthcoming galaxy remain impossible to forecast definitively. One foreseeable outcome is the disruption of the galactic disks of both galaxies, leading to the dispersion of the spiral arms in each. Whether this leads to Milcomeda evolving into an elliptical galaxy or a large disk galaxy is a question that only will be answered once the merger is underway. Presently, it's plausible for the merger to unfold in either manner. As the Andromeda Galaxy and the Milky Way unite, the cosmic forces and interactions among stars, gases and dust will give rise to a fresh galactic structure distinct from our conventional understanding. The question remains, can humanity evolve sufficiently to adapt to life in Milcomeda? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by giving it a thumbs up. And as always, we look forward to engaging with you in our upcoming videos.